What's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to landscape in Bloxburg. Let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so I've kind of given myself a nice situation here where I have to put in some pretty good landscaping. So I've got this house that's really nice looking. It's a little mid-century modern home. Obviously, there's no interior yet and the full structure is obviously not complete. But this area of landscaping is pretty important because I have a bay of water right here. But over to the sides, I need some pretty tall landscaping. I haven't actually done a tutorial on how to do that. I've done it in some of our recent builds and I was like, maybe people want to know how to do that. And... They added in some new landscaping items, so I figured, oh, well, why not, right? So, yeah, let's get right into this. Also, if you're wondering about my voice, I'm just a little sick, but that's okay. I'm just trying to get this video out for you. All right, all right, we're going to continue. So, first off, I added in this little spot right here in the middle. Basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a really tall tree, kind of just add in some more, like, coverage, I guess. So, I could put in a good palm tree, which if I type in palm tree, obviously two types pop up. I like the coconut palm tree. This looks really cool. And this original one looks, uh, the exotic tree looks really good as well. I think I'm going to use the coconut one because I think that's just a little bit more realistic. So, if we put that right there, I think that looks great. The new snake leaves plant actually looks really good. So, I'm going to add that in down here. That looks really, really cool. The monstera plant also is really nice. I'm going to put that like kind of right in this corner over here. And that looks really cool. Now we can go into back into garden, not curtains, let's go back into gardening and let's add in some little tiny stones. And then you can kind of just add in some little clutter plants just like that. And I think that looks really cool. I mean, that tiny area just got filled in pretty neatly. And so now I obviously have the water, which they do actually have stuff for you to add in the water here. You can add in some lily pads, which I think would make a great addition to the build. So let's go get some more lily pads here. Obviously, you know, you can change the sizes and the shapes of the, uh, not the shapes, but, you know, if they got, like, a plant on them or not uh, for each of the lily pads. You can kind of just have some maybe right in here. I think that looks pretty cool. I can change the color of this big one uh, to, like, linen. That looks really cool. I can make the grass on this one darker. Just stuff like that. I mean, I think that looks really cool. And suddenly, this area actually looks really cool just by the addition of just a few plants. Like, it kind of changed a lot. Now this is the really tough part, is trying to get tall trees on the side to kind of cut off your view right here. Because it's pretty tough to do some stuff. Sorry, hold on. People are talking to me in the chat. You can thank these people, by the way, um, for getting me back into filming a video. They've joined me when I was playing a public server of MM2. I honestly was not feeling much motivated for content, but then I ran into some of my fans. And they motivated me to make a video again. So here I am. Alright. But anyways, so the kind of thing you want to do here when you're trying to like cut off side of your house is you want to add in some walls kind of like a mountain basically this is probably the easiest way to do it so on one side actually i'm going to add in these walls kind of just like this for now um just to add in some elevation and then on the other side I actually have a different technique that we can do and so if you would like to add in some more like maybe like steeper elevation you can use like a mansard roof landscaping right here and just go like something like this and then put that up like that looks pretty cool but it kind of overcomes on your uh porch right there so maybe not like all the way like that just uh, maybe something like this could be tall extend it whoa extend it out there and then uh, we could put something out here just like that and basically what you're going to do on these is you're going to paint this the color of your grass so let's get like a good grass color that moss looks good and then let's do this here and bam whoa why didn't it work all right there we go there we go now we're going to add in some trees and so since this is like a mid-century modern home the trees i would like to use and that i'll normally use actually are these pine trees and so if you want to kind of get like more of a the reason why i'd had you guys use these mansard roofs is so you can get kind of like a depth like a forced perspective almost make this hill look bigger than it actually is so by resizing these trees and recoloring them and placing them around and stuff you can make it look like they have like rows like this and so it gradually just gets like the mountain just gets more depth suddenly if that makes sense if you saw my recent build that i made for myself where i made my own dream house actually the landscape on that house i used so much trees so that way i could make it look like it was a bigger hill than it actually was and that kind of worked out pretty well i really i really liked it like here like you know it looks like it's a bit of a bigger hill it looks like it goes up higher basically is what i'm trying to say and then when you get down to the bottom, I just like to fill it in with this large boulder, um, just like this. It's the easiest way to not interfere with your porch or your house, is just by using that boulder. And boom. I mean, I think that looks really cool. Like, just by adding in trees right there, I think that looks great. If you want, you can recolor them, but even just having them like this looks good. 
uh, if you were to recolor them i wouldn't make it like too different like i wouldn't add on like bright greens i would add in just maybe like the slightest change like just stuff like that i mean that just makes a huge difference as well like that just looks super good though guys like i really like that and now on the other side you can actually just have some sort of walkway like a mini garden if that kind of makes sense so uh whenever i have symmetrical Porsches like this I don't tend to like to make my sides symmetrical and so a good way to kind of avoid that is just by adding in like a mini garden or a mini like trail almost so if you use these large stepping stones actually you can resize these and if you make these really small they actually look really good and then if you're rotating them around you can make it look like a pretty cool looking path and so basically when you're doing this you can make like a little like mini like garden you can make like a circle with this type of path and so what i'm going to do right now actually is make a type of like circle over to like this like bench if that makes sense or maybe just like a little like campfire so like let's say like we're right over here i'll have like a campfire or something i'm gonna finish completing the circle and then i'll show you guys what i mean all right so now that i got my circle i can just put a nice cherry blossom tree right in the middle is that the most practical thing to walk through i'm actually not sure but maybe it's just for your kids you know maybe that's just the entire point of this it's just for your kids so hopefully they can fit through this at least and if you don't want to put that there you can put like a statue instead or something and then you can either put these landscape up lights in there which look really cool or you can put in the gloomy lanterns which also look really cool i like to put in the gloomy lanterns personally i think they just are better in some ways but you can also make them like hang off the tree if you want but for this case i'm actually gonna use the landscape up light since it's like a modern home so let me just put those uh, right around like in here and stuff i think that looks really cool all right and then over here when i was talking about just having like a little campfire so if i go to the fireplaces i can just put in the fire pit just like this and then i can extend my path either i can extend it with the stones or i can use the dirt pile and just go around just like this here all right and then we're gonna put this dirt pile right over here and then boom now i can put some seating around my campfire so i can put like a wooden park bench just right there i can put the log bench right here and make sure it is facing towards the campfire so that way your guests are sitting towards it so if you want to know how to do that basically when you're rotating it you just hold down with your click and then you just point your mouse towards the direction you want the people to sit towards and that's how it works and then you can kind of fill in this gap like right here because I just don't like the way that gap looked. All right. Now make sure you repaint these stones just to kind of give some more like depth. Uh, whoa, I did not want to repaint the tree. <laughs> um, yeah, let me repaint these stones. I like to use probably three to four different colors. So I'll use like the fossil color as well. It's not that much of a difference, but whenever it comes to your actual build, it will make a lot more of a difference. Like in the color is not that much of a difference, but it'll make a big difference in your build is what I'm trying to say. And then you can use like ghost gray, which also looks pretty cool. And then boom, I think that looks really cool. And so then if you want, you can use some more of this uh, mountain landscaping stuff over here. You can also add in some more of these cluttered plants right here in the middle if you'd like. Just by going like this, really. I mean, you can use these color plants literally for everything. And now that they added these specific ones to the game, I think these look incredible. And so, yeah, that's kind of how I would start off by landscaping my house. Basically, if you guys are stuck or something like that, people were wondering what I do with my landscaping. So this is a huge technique I adapted recently, and it helps me out a ton. I mean, it just saves you so much room on your plot. It does cost a bit of money, but it does help out a ton. And then this is also kind of some more concept and thinking like I'll just put in on the side of my build. And look, you can walk through it just fine, even as an adult in Bloxburg. So, yeah. That's perfectly fine with me. But yes, hopefully this video did help you guys. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye, everybody.